And lumber prices are now shooting through the roof. It is four times higher than it was a year ago, and those in the industry say there's no end in sight. Fox 46's Morgan Francis went to a local lumber mill to find out why and how it's affecting the Charlotte market. Here at Piedmont Hardwood Lumber, owner Len Steyerwald can't pump out product fast enough. We're considered a, still a pretty small mill. His 30 employees are constantly loading fresh lumber into milling machines, but then there's a distribution problem. Our storage is full, lumber sold, but nobody's picking it up. Some speculate about the root of the problem. I think in the beginning it was a supply issue. I don't know if I believe that still exists. But Steyerwald says from gas to equipment, his costs have increased too. The expense of uh, keeping the mill up, it's, it's scary. It's scary for me to be in it. You know, I don't want to let my dad down. The lack of lumber has new home prices shooting through the roof. Both home buyers and renters could feel the pinch. The average single family home right now, we're close to $36,000 in the cost uh, due to lumber prices. On an apartment, it's $13,000. The ripple effect continues to contractors who are getting backlogged. If they could get lumber, it was expensive. But an even bigger issue is can they even get it at all? Industry experts are worried construction will continue to cool as costs climb. One, it's, it's slowing economic activity. Uh, we're already starting to see uh, the new permits number came out nationwide. They're down 13%. Uh, and that, is, that, is our, that has been our big fear moving forward that lumber and material cost prices are going to start to slow the market as builders pull back from, from prospective projects. The latest report from Canopy Realty, which dissects local MLS data, shows housing inventory in Charlotte has plummeted 67% to historic levels. This market has an 18-day supply of homes. Quite frankly, we don't see the demand slowing at this point. The demand for new homes is extremely high. Piedmont Hardwood Lumber has been a family-run operation for more than 60 years, but Len Steyerwald would say Washington also plays a big role. Biden, all they need to do is set it on cruise control and go with it. They may be making money now, but taking the taxes, uh, raising them, and all of the other expenses coming along with it, lumber business two or three years now might be a different story. Let's hope not. He's not the only one asking the Biden administration to step in. We do think there's a role for Washington to play. We need to make sure that our elected officials, particularly on the federal level, understand the significance of this problem. Right now, the U.S. gets 30 percent of its timber from Canada, and industry experts say U.S. tariffs on Canadian lumber is exacerbating the high lumber prices.